Hello everyone, today we will be learning about the reproduction in organism. Last time we have uh, studied what is reproduction and modes of reproduction. So, last time in last lecture will be uh, we have already studied about the uh, difference between asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. So, in this particular subtopic we will be learning which are the modes of asexual reproduction. There are different modes of reproduction, asexual reproduction such as fragmentation, sporulation, binary fission, multiple fission, frag, uh, then uh, budding. Today, we will be learning firstly about the fission. What is fission? Fission is the process in which the parent organism divides into two daughter organisms. So, how this parent organism is dividing into two daughter organisms? Uh, there is firstly nuclear division followed by cytoplasmic division. So, fission is of two types, first is binary fission and second one is multiple fission. Binary, naam mein hi sab kuch hai, binary, bi means two. So, binary mein kya hota hai, parent cell will divide into two daughter cells, okay. So, how the uh, binary fission takes place, binary fission takes place by three different ways. Okay, some of the organisms will show irregular simple binary fission, for example, in amoeba. Amoeba may binary fission jo hota hai, wo irregular type ka hota hai. Irregular in the sense, uh, there is irregular division of the nucleus as well as cytoplasm. So, what exactly happens? See, here I have drawn the diagram wherein this is the parent amoeba wherein the nucleus will divide irregularly followed by cytoplasm. So, irregular nuclear division means what? Karyokinesis. Other name for nucleus is carrion. So, karyokinesis will occur irregularly followed by cytokinesis and likewise there will be formation of two daughter amoebae. Okay. Similar way, second type of binary fission is longitudinal binary fission. In longitudinal binary fission, what exactly happens? Longitudinally, there will be cytokinesis. So, look here, this is the parent euglena, which is having its own nucleus and cytoplasm. When this euglena will undergo longitudinal binary fission, firstly, there will be karyokinesis followed by cytokinesis. And in this particular diagram, you can clearly see that whatever cytoplasm which is dividing, it is dividing longitudinally on, along the longitudinal axis and thus you will get two daughter euglenae, okay. So, two daughter euglena are formed from the parent euglena by which type of binary fission? Longitudinal binary fission. Then third type of binary fission is transverse binary fission. In transverse binary fission, what exactly happens? Yahan pe longitudinal kyu bula tha? Because cytokinesis is taking place longitudinally. And here, why transverse it is saying? Because transverse cytokinesis takes place. Okay. So, this is the nucleus and this is the cytoplasm of the paramoecium. What is paramoecium? It is a prokaryote. Uh, it is a, sorry, it is a protist. Okay, so here what is happening? Cytokinesis which is there, it is taking place transversely and because of the transverse cytokinesis, likewise finally you will get two daughter paramoecium. So, whenever any of the cell is dividing in any of the binary fission, you must have observed that firstly there is karyokinesis that is nuclear division followed by cytokinesis. So, here also everywhere in amoeba, euglena as well as paramoecium, firstly karyokinesis that is nuclear division will occur followed by cytoplasmic division. Okay. So, irregular binary fission wherein irregular cytokinesis takes place, longitudinal binary fission wherein longitudinal uh, cytokinesis takes place and transverse binary fission wherein cytokinesis will take place in transverse plane. Okay, so this is all about fission. So, now let us study about the other type of fission that is multiple fission. So, in multiple fission, multiple ka matlab hai bohat sara. So, many daughter organisms will be formed from the parent cell. 
that is multiple fission. So in multiple fission, multiple fission is also known as plasmotomy. What is the other name for multiple fission? Plasmotomy. Okay. Plasmotomy that is multiple fission is seen in some of the protozoans for example, plasmodium. Plasmodium is one of the protozoan which causes malaria. You must be knowing that. So, this plasmodium when it has to divide asexually by fission, what exactly happens? The parent plasmodium will undergo multiplication for several times of nucleus. So, nucleus will undergo karyokinesis, but this karyokinesis process which is seen in parent plasmodium, it is mitotic. it is not mitotically dividing. So, karyokinesis is taking place mitotically, and likewise because of mitotic karyokinesis many nuclei are formed in one plasmodium. So, in cytoplasm you will get many nuclei okay? and once the many nuclei are formed small small uh, cell, uh, cell membrane and uh, uh, cytoplasm will get accumulated around the nucleus and likewise there will be formation of many daughter plasmodium. So, whenever favorable conditions arises what happens this daughter plasmodium will come out. Okay? So, this is the type of fission. Okay? So, how many fission we have studied? Two fissions. First is binary fission wherein two daughter individuals will be formed and multiple fission wherein many daughter cells will be formed from one single parent cell. Let us proceed further to the next mode of asexual reproduction that is budding. How to define budding? Budding is the process wherein there is small projection which comes out from the parent body. Okay? And this bud which is developed it is either exogenous bud or endogenous bud. So, budding can be exogenous or endogenous. Exogenous, what do you, uh, what do you mean by exogenous? Exo means outside. So, outside the part of the body will protrude okay? and which will give rise to new organism. So, two examples are there of exogenous budding, one is yeast and another one is hydra. Okay? So, here whatever diagram which is indicated here it is of yeast. So, yeast is what? It is a unicellular eukaryote, it is a fungus, unicellular fungus which is dividing asexually by formation of exogenous bud. Exogenous bud means there is projection of the part of the bud which comes out and likewise this projection will grow further and it will lead to the formation of two daughter yeast cells. Okay? So, this is exogenous, exogenous outside projection is coming out. There is no inside multiplication of any cells. Okay? Let us proceed further to the second type of budding that is endogenous budding. Endogenous means inside there will be multiplication of the cells and because of uh, multiplication of the cells in the body of that organism there will be projection seen over the body of the organism. ये अंदर की तरफ होता है multiplication cells का इसीलिए उसको बोला है exogenous budding. Okay? So, here I have drawn one particular diagram wherein I have shown many totipotent cells that is archaeocytes. Archaeocytes are the totipotent cells. Totipotent cells means the leaving nucleated cells which get differentiated into many other type of cells which will give rise to one new complete organism that is known as totipotent cells. So, archaeocytes uh, are the cells which will multiply uh, within short time and they will protrude out. So, here what is happening inside the body of the organism archaeocytes that is totipotent cells are getting multiplied and after some time they will form one circular structure and coating around it and this whole circular structure 
having thick coat as well as archaeocyte is known as gemule and this gemule will separate out from the parent body parent organism and will give rise to new parent new daughter cells okay and it is seen in simpler animals such as poriferans what is the example of uh, poriferan uh, poriferans sponges spongila so all sponges reproduce by or sexual reproduction which type endogenous budding okay so in this particular session what we have studied modes of reproduction mein kaun se do modes hum log ne learn kiye first is fission and second one is budding still many are uh, different types of or sexual reproduction which we are going to study in next video lecture okay and these other type of or sexual reproduction which will be learning are fragmentation sporulation spore formation vegetative reproduction thank you